What's wrong, Ravi? You look like you've seen a ghost. It's not a ghost, Priya. It's something scarier. English. English? What do you mean? I'm really bad at speaking English. Whenever I try to speak, I get nervous and my words just don't come out right. I don't know how to practice. Hey, don't worry. Everyone struggles with English at first. Even I did. But with practice, you'll get better. We can practice together if you want. Really? You would help me? Of course. We're friends, right? Let's start right now. You know, Ravi, the first step to speaking English well is to listen a lot. Just like how babies learn to speak by listening to their parents. But what should I listen to? I don't have anyone at home who speaks English. That's okay. You can listen to English songs, watch English cartoons, or even listen to podcasts. The important thing is to hear how words are pronounced and how sentences are formed. I like watching cartoons. Maybe I can start with that. That's a great idea. Start with something simple like cartoons or movies with subtitles. This way you can understand the story and learn new words at the same time. Reading is another great way to improve your English. When you read, you see how sentences are structured and you learn new words. But what if I don't understand some words? That's okay. Keep a notebook with you and write down the words you don't understand. Later, you can look up their meanings. You'll be surprised at how much you learn. I think I'll start with short stories. They seem easier to understand. That's a smart choice. Start small, and as you get more comfortable, you can move on to bigger books. Priya, even when I know what to say, I get scared. What if I make a mistake? Ravi, everyone makes mistakes. The important thing is to keep trying. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. That's how you learn. But what if people laugh at me? People who laugh at others for trying to learn something new aren't worth worrying about. Remember, we're all learning. The more you speak, the better you'll get. And if you want, you can practice with me. I won't laugh, I promise. Thanks, Priya. I'll try to remember that. Let's make a plan. Every day we'll have a 10-minute conversation in English. We can talk about anything, our day, our favorite things, or even our dreams. That sounds good. I'll try my best. So, Ravi, how was your day today? My day was good. I, I went to school and I, um, studied. That's good. You're doing well, Ravi. Just try to relax and speak slowly. Okay. Um, after school, I, I went to the market with my mother. We bought vegetables. That's great. What vegetables did you buy? We bought tomatoes, potatoes, and carrots. See, you're doing really well. The more you practice, the easier it will become. Thanks, Priya. I feel a bit more confident now. I'm glad. Remember, every day, just a little practice. It will make a big difference. Another important thing is to learn new words. The more words you know, the easier it will be to express yourself. But there are so many words. How do I remember them all? You don't have to learn them all at once. Start with a few words each day. Use them in sentences so, so you remember them better. For example, today we learned vegetables market and bought. Try to use these words when you speak. I'll do that. I'll try to use new words every day. That's the spirit. And don't forget to revise the words you learned before. Repetition helps in remembering them. Today, I went to school. I studied English. After school, 
I went to the market with my mother. We bought vegetables. Priya, I started writing in English. It's helping me a lot. That's awesome, Ravi. Writing is a great way to practice. You can even write about your day, your thoughts, or anything you like. It helps you think in English. Yes, and I noticed that when I write, I'm not as scared of making mistakes. Exactly. When you write, you can take your time to think, and later you can read what you wrote and correct any mistakes. It's a great way to learn. Ravi, you've improved so much. You're speaking English more fluently now. Thanks, Priya. I still make mistakes, but I'm not as afraid anymore. That's the most important thing. Confidence is key. The more confident you are, the better you'll speak. You know, Priya, I think the biggest thing I learned is that it's okay to make mistakes. I was so scared before. But now I feel like I can keep improving. I'm really proud of you, Ravi. You've worked hard and it's paying off. Remember, learning a language is a journey. There's always more to learn, but you're on the right path. I'll keep practicing every day. I want to get even better. And you will. Just keep going and don't give up. And remember, I'm always here if you need help. Thanks, Priya. I couldn't have done this without you. Priya, guess what? I helped my little brother with his English homework today. That's amazing, Ravi. You're becoming a real pro at this. How did it go? It was great. He was struggling with some words, so I explained them to him, and we practiced speaking together. It felt really good to help someone else. That's fantastic, Ravi. Teaching someone else is one of the best ways to reinforce what you've learned. It shows how far you've come. Yeah, I realized that I know more than I thought, and it made me even more confident. You've turned your fear into strength, Ravi. That's something to be really proud of. And now you're passing that strength on to others. I want to keep helping him and maybe even others. If I can do it, they can too. That's the spirit. And don't forget to revise the words you learned before. Repetition helps in remembering them. Thanks, Priya. I couldn't have done this without your support. We all need a little help sometimes. I'm glad I could be there for you. And remember, the journey doesn't end here. Keep learning, keep practicing, and keep helping others. That's how we all grow. So, what should we talk about in our English conversation tomorrow? How about our favorite books? We can share what we've read and learn some new words along the way. Sounds perfect. I'm looking forward to it. This conclusion ties up the story by showing Ravi's progress and his willingness to help others, emphasizing the ongoing nature of learning and the importance of mutual support.